Honestly, you didn't know that Mary Kay was a multi-level marketing company? Hmm. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen and if you're new here, I am a micro-influencer on Instagram and I also post content here on YouTube mainly about multi-level marketing companies, pyramid schemes, and how they have become very popular these days and we just need to keep talking about them. In order to continue our previous series about Mary Kay, today we are going to continue talking about Mary Kay. I have found a very interesting and a whole bunch of new uh, publications and materials to discuss about Mary Kay so that's very amazing uh, and today uh, we're going to continue talking about Mary Kay but we're going to focus more on another contract that it's important for us to analyze very quickly today last time we uh, we analyzed the part one and part two of the independent beauty consultant agreement well that agreement is for people who have joined Mary Kay for the very first time and then once they advance into the different levels the different ranks within mary kay they advance into what is called a sales director and after that if you reach the top of the company you're considered a national sales director which we're going to analyze next week but this week today we're going to analyze the independent sales director agreement which is very interesting and has a whole bunch of um very similar terms and conditions as the independent beauty consultant agreement but it also has a lot of new things that we need to keep in mind for anyone who's interested in joining Mary Kay and that it's important for them to know exactly what they're getting into and what exactly it means to be a Mary Kay consultant. Um, so let's dig in. So this Mary Kay Beauty Consultant Agreement has 13 different sections and we are not going to be reading every single one of the sections. The, the contract is very extensive, very long. So we're just going to pinpoint on the different important things that we need to keep in mind that I found important for you to know about Mary Kay. And for that, because I have to be looking at the screen a lot here in my iPad, I am going to be using my anti-blue light um, glasses to, you know, just um, keep my eyes from getting hurt from the light that is exposed from the iPad. So let's begin. So to start off talking about the general terms and conditions of this contract, section one talks about um, appointment as union sales director. And basically what this section is, is just confirming that you have become a sales director and that that is your new title and that you have to read what it's in this contract before you even begin. Section two uh, talks about sales unit defined. And in here, basically, Mary Kay just wants you to give you the definition of what it means to be a sales director and what specifically means to have a sales unit. Um, when it comes to Mary Kay, they like to call your team or your downline a sales unit. Um, unlike other MLM companies that like to call it team or downline or um, you know other different types of name, but Mary Kay specifically likes to call your team a sales unit makes sense because it's a unit that you yourself created by recruiting more people in which many sales of products are generated so it makes sense now section three um it's called commissions and bonuses and here is where the interesting uh part comes in um basically this section just mary Kay just wants to let you know very clearly that you will get paid on a monthly basis for any commissions and for any bonuses that you earn um, based on the amount of sales that your sales unit or your team or your downline makes for that month. So whatever money, whatever sales are made during the month, uh, whatever commission rate it is that you are entitled to receive, that's what you're going to receive at the end of every month. Now, section four talks about non-commissionable items, commission chargebacks, and deductions. And like any other MLM, this section um, is very, very interesting because Mary Kay is telling you here very clearly that you do not need to earn any commission for the purchase of a starter kit of a new member and you do not earn any commission from any compensation just for simply acquiring a new member on the team. This is huge. Like this, this when I read this section of the contract, I was very, very surprised. Very surprised because as far as I know, the MLMs that I have researched before, they do give you a bonus if you um, sign up a new person in your team. And they do give you a bonus if, depending on the starter kit that that person 
purchases when they first joined the MLM company. But here with Mary Kay, they're a little different because they're telling you here, you do not earn commission when someone buys their starter kit when they first join the business and you do not earn any commission just by simply bringing someone else into your team. That sets Mary Kate aside from any other MLM company. And just because these two things are taken away doesn't necessarily mean that they don't entirely qualify as an MLM, but what makes an MLM is the fact of recruiting, the, the fact that you have to keep finding more people to join your team so that you can generate more sales. And so the more sales that you make that month, the more commission you earn for that month. That's the whole point of the MLM. But Mary Kay likes to, I guess, do things a little different and not have their people earn money just for bringing on more people. So that's pretty, pretty unique about Mary Kay. Now a little bit more down in section 4.2, uh, Mary Kay does tell you that like other MLMs, they do deduct uh from your commission paycheck any amount of any return products of anyone in your team so if someone in your team joined this month and they bought their starter kit but then they realize that they don't want to do mary kay anymore they don't like mary kay or for whatever reason and they return the products back to mary kay mary kay will deduct from your paycheck whatever money they gave you from that commission for that person so yeah that happens in every MLM, I, that's what they consider fair. And it's just as simple as that with those type of companies. Now moving on to section five, which talks about right to use company name, trade names and trademarks. And Mary Kay is just basically telling you, you here that as an independent sales director, you do have the right to create business cards, you know, signs or like promotional materials with your name on it. But in your under your underneath your name, you have to say independent sales director with Mary Kay, not just Mary Kay. Because if you just put Mary Kay, that means that Mary Kay is the one doing the business directly. But no, you are an independent sales director. Your name and your title specifically needs to be on that business card or in that sign that you are promoting for whatever reason. Um, now, section six talks about use of company name, train names and trademarks in internet and directory advertising. So the same issue with like paper copies, like business cards and signs and, and materials that you print, the same applies to when you go on the internet and you create a website just to sell your Mary Kay stuff. If you're gonna do that, you have to make sure that your name appears on that page and underneath your name has to be your title of independent sales director. You cannot create a page on behalf of Mary Kay because Mary Kay does not allow you to do that because that will be a violation of the trademark and their name and their logo and etc. Um, if for whatever reason you are an independent sales director and later on you decide to just not do this anymore, you do have to give Mary Kay the right to own and operate whatever website or wherever materials you're creating on behalf of them. So you do have to give that back. You cannot, um, you either have to give it back or you have to terminate, delete the page or delete any materials that you have really in relation to Mary Kay or give it to them. You cannot keep anything. If you're done with Mary Kay, you're done with Mary Kay and that's it. Now section seven here talks about sales directors special rights privileges and benefits and what Mary Kay is basically telling you here is that you need to use whatever materials and publications Mary Kay has created for you so when you become an ind independent sales director Mary Kay provides you with a whole bunch of different pamphlets um, booklets um, everything that you need to be able to educate help and motivate other people to join your team um, to be able to do the business correctly the way that Mary Kay wants you to do it and in return you're gonna receive you know a few compensations recognition from Mary Kay etc so it's a win-win situation per se for both parties now section 8 talks about sales directors responsibilities and in here is a very extensive section um, it has very big paragraphs but I decided to sum everything up into like little bullet points and I'm just gonna tell you what the responsibilities of a independent sales director are according to Mary Kate in this contract so first 
they tell you here that you're responsible to quickly respond to any messages or any interactions that you may have with someone who wants to join the business or who wants to buy products from you you are obligated to respond to that person and explain to them how, how the business works and how the products works you cannot just leave anybody on red for, for example if it's through messages or through a call or whatever now you have another responsibility of um, not display Mary Kay products in retail or service establishments. Like I've said before, if you have a friend that has a beauty salon or a, a retail store and you would like to display your Mary Kay pamphlets or products in that retail store, you cannot do that because that is a establishment that was made for a specific purpose and has nothing to do with Mary Kay. Mary Kay does not partnered up with your friend to to rent the small space within that establishment for you to show the Mary Kay products. No, that's not how it works. You have to show people the products yourself and you cannot be putting um, the products in, in no one's store or establishment of any sort. The same applies online. You cannot go on eBay and you cannot go on Amazon and put pictures of Mary Kay products for people to buy from you. No, that's extremely prohibited. You sell Mary Kay products or you attract more people to join your team when you make personal connections. Personal connections is what matters in Mary Kay. You cannot go about your way to sell Mary Kay products in the streets or to sell Mary Kay products on um, online websites like Amazon or eBay or if you create a website for yourself. Not possible. Another one of your responsibilities is that you cannot design anything, any materials, any logos with the Mary Kay logo or with the Mary Kay name or colors. You cannot. If you're going to do a business card, the business card needs to say your name and underneath the title independent sales director. That's it. It cannot have the Mary Kay logo. It cannot be um, connected to any Mary Kay trademark whatsoever. Another thing is that you cannot promote any other MLM company products to people that are in your team. So if you sell Mary Kay products and you have a team and for example, you want to or you use any other products from another MLM company, let's say um, Herbalife, and you would like to share those products with people in your team, you cannot do that because you are interfering with the connections that you have, the team that you have with Mary Kay to be selling products that are not associated with Mary Kay. So you cannot do that. Another thing that you agree that is one of your responsibilities as an independent sales director is that you cannot use the personal information of the people in your team for purposes that are outside of Mary Kay business. You cannot be sharing people's name, contact, email, phone numbers, anything of that kind outside of the scope of what is to do the Mary Kay business, okay? Um, you have access to that information, but it doesn't necessarily mean you need to use it. And if you use it, you're gonna have some consequences um, from Mary Kay. So that was section A about the responsibilities. Now section nine talks about the term of agreement, which is just basically uh, letting you know that every year Mary Kay up to, updates the contract on January 1st and you're required to read and, and, and understand what the new, if they have anything new, um, what each of the terms mean and um, abide by the rules that are set on that new contract every year. Um, section 10 talks about termination. And what does Mary Kay tell us here about termination? Well, they provide you with a list of the things that can possibly cause you to terminate your agreement with Mary Kay or that would cause Mary Kay to terminate the agreement that they have with you. And what are some of those things? I have them here in bullet points. And some of, the, some of those things are if you involve yourself in false or fraudulent information, if you um, enroll someone else into your team without them knowing that you're enrolling them in your team, um, also, if you hurt the reputation of Mary Kay um, in a way that they consider detrimental, meaning that if you do something against Mary Kay and you hurt the reputation so bad that they consider that it's fair for them to terminate your agreement as a sales director, then they will do that. 
It also says here that if you become incapacitated to perform the duties that Mary Kay requires you to do under your contract, they will terminate your agreement. And also, very important, Mary Kay operates in 32 countries, but it says here that if you leave the United States, if you live in the United States if you and you leave the country um, to go on vacation, let's say, um, but you stay out of the country for more than 90 days, your agreement may be terminated because you need to operate your business where you, um, where you basically belong, where you live. And it's okay for you to go on vacation, but you have to make sure that you are back before the 90 day um, threshold. Also, if you commit any violation, um, Mary Kay will terminate the agreement and they're gonna provide you with your final commission paycheck and then that's it, you're done. You know, you're no longer associated with Mary Kay whatsoever. Now, section 11 talks about relationship as an independent contractor. And this is very important because a lot of people think that when they work for an MLM company, that means that they're an employee. But here Mary Kay tells you like any other MLM company that you're just an independent contractor. You're an independent sales director. And that does not mean that you're an employee, a partner, an agent, a franchisee of the company. And it also means that if you're an independent contractor, you are going to file your taxes. You use, it, is your, it is your responsibility every year to file your taxes as a self-employed person. Mary Kay is not gonna do that for you. That is completely your own responsibility and you have to take care of that every year as soon as possible. Now, section 12 talks about indemnification. And it basically says here that you waive the right to sue um, Mary Kay for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, you just can't sue. Now, sections 13 through 18 are very short and simple and they just, you know, they're not very important. They just want to let you know that you agree to the terms and conditions written here and that the agreement is between you as the person, the sales director, and Mary Kay, not between anybody else, not between any other MLM company, just between you and Mary Kay. And if for any reason you do want to, to sue Mary Kay and you think you're gonna be successful at it, you do have to remember, as they say here, that the laws of Texas, which is where they have their headquarters, prevails. The laws of Texas are what's going to be taken in consideration in court when you go um, file a lawsuit with them or when you go to court to fight whatever battle you think it is that you're going to win with them. So just keep that in mind. So this has been the summary of the independent sales director agreement. Um, like I said, there's another contract which is called the national sales director agreement, which is like the top uh, rank with American. We're going to analyze that next week. I hope this information has been very helpful. I know a lot of the things in here are a little redundant from the contract of the independent beauty consultant we analyzed um, a few weeks ago, but we have to keep reminding people that it's not just all roses and then it's not just all pink, that you have to actually make sure that an MLM opportunity is the right thing for you because no matter how many times I say here that it's hard to succeed in an MLM company, people are still gonna go out there and are gonna join MLM companies just to see or just to try or just to see if it works out. But if you're gonna do that, if that's the path that you're choosing to do or to take, do make sure that you at least investigate and research what the company is really about. Don't wait until you're inside the MLM company to realize that it's not a good opportunity for you and your family, for your pockets, or for your emotional and mental state. Don't wait that late. You can just watch my videos, watch me talk about every single thing here on these contracts because that's what I do for you so that you don't have to do it yourself. It really hurts my eyes to read these contracts, so I would appreciate if you like and subscribe and if you're new and you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And if you have been lingering around here and you haven't subscribed, I'm not sure what you're waiting for because we're going to keep analyzing more and more um, multi-level marketing companies that are important and that have become very popular um, and that people just need to know about them before they join if they decide to join. So thank you for tuning in with me once again and I will see you guys on my next video.